Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about emotional freedom techniques. It's also known as EFT or tapping. It was developed by a man called Gary Craig in the 1990s. Now it's a weird but very simple technique that can be learned in a couple of minutes. And I'm going to be showing you how to do this in the next few videos. It allows release of negative emotions from past experiences or current circumstances. So you can work on something from the past or something that's going on right now. And again, I'm going to explain in the next few videos. It's a treatment within the energy, um, sorry, the field of energy psychology. And it's based on the theory that negative states can get stuck or stored in our body's energy system. It works by tapping with the fingers on specific points along the body. And again, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So while you do this, you think of a particular unwanted negative thought, emotion or feeling, and this can eradicate it. But again, I'm going to explain that a little bit more thoroughly when we go through the next videos. Um, so there's been loads of research on this and ongoing research and studies provide evidence proving the effectiveness of EFT that it's not just a placebo. Studies have shown that the um, stimulation of these selected meridian points deactivates the amygdala. Now the amygdala is the area of the brain that processes emotions. When experiencing a stressful situation or a negative thought, the amygdala picks up on danger and fear and then sends a distress signal to another area of the brain. And this initiates the fight or flight freeze response. And this floods the body with hormones. So these studies have shown that this tapping action, while thinking of the particular stressor or any associated negative emotion, sends a calming signal to the amygdala. This reprograms the negative reaction to the current or the previous experience, leaving memories but no emotional attachment to them. So it really is quite an amazing tool to have to use and it can help with stress, anxiety, overwhelm, depression, the list goes on and on. It can help with things like anger, worry, sadness, resentment, grief, jealousy. It can help with past traumas. It can help with just weight loss. It can improve your confidence. And, and as I say, the list can go on and on. So I'm going to be going through this in the next few videos. Um, so I hope you enjoy them and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.